Good! Good! Star Wars, Lords of the Sith. Alright, so this book is the fourth book in the Star Wars canon series. This book is the earliest of the books so far. Well, there is a fifth book, Star Wars Dark Disciple, which follows Ventress. But this is the earliest in between the three and four. Episodes three and four. This book pretty much takes place on Ryloth. Ryloth's the planet of the Twi'leks. You know, the people with the blue things. The, the species that Hera is. Speaking of Hera, this story follows Hera's dad, who's the leader of the Rebellion. Remember... If, you, if you've ever seen Star Wars Clone Wars in Season 1, there's a Resistance fire who's trying to take out the Separatists and he works with Mace Windu. That's Hera's father. I thought that was pretty cool. Now we know where Hera gets all that attitude from. But really what this book is, it's a... Uh, here's the basic premise of the book. Vader and the Emperor's ship gets crashed down on Ryloth. And there's a rebellion out to get him. And they must rely on each other and their connection to the Force to survive. That just sounds awesome. It's like Predator meets Star Wars. And the Emperor's pretty awesome. What's cool about the Emperor is nobody knows he's actually Darth Sidious. Everybody just knows he's Emperor Palpatine. That's it. That's what I liked about it. The Emperor, he keeps his force powers a sway. He doesn't let anyone know he has them. So people just think he's a normal Emperor, not the evil Sith Lords who once took over the galaxy, who started the Clone Wars. Don't give people more reasons to rebel against you. What I really liked about this book was the relationship between Darth Vader and the Emperor. They have a very interesting relationship. The Emperor always says like, How's it going? My friend. Because he always said that in Return of the Jedi. One that I really liked was Vader. Because Vader, he's still struggling to figure out who he really is. Like it's something that like happened. Like he saw one of the old clones faces. So he flashes back to Rex. Fives. All the clones he fought with in the Clone Wars. He remember when he was in space in Ryloth. He remembers Ahsoka. He remembers the people he betrayed. Obi-Wan, Mace. A life he left behind. He completely ignores his life. That's, they kind of do that in Tarkin too. Whenever in Tarkin, Palpatine talks to Vader. Says like, we're all similar. We all live three isolated planets. I, Naboo, Tarkin is. You, Tatooine. Vader just completely slides it away. Because Vader completely ignores his past life is Anakin Skywalker. Remember in Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader said that name, he's like, Luke says, it's like, you're still Anakin Skywalker, my father. That name no longer holds a place in me. It's just really, really cool, I have to say. The, the relationship between Emperor and Vader was so interesting to see. A relationship between the Sith Master and the Sith Apprentice. Because even though those books are canon, in the old Republic books, the Sith Apprentice would always take out the Master, the rule of two. Only two can live. The Master and the Apprentice. One to embody the power and one to, to crave it. And I really enjoyed Star Wars Lords of the Sith. This was a very good book. If you like Sith Lords, good! You will really like this book. I'm going to give Star Wars Lords of the Sith a 4.8 out of 5. This is a pretty much perfect book. I really enjoyed it. Have you read Star Wars Lords of the Sith and what are your thoughts? Comment below and let me know. And if as always guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to see more. All too easy.